So starting the test drive in this 24 Equinox, again, it's pretty much just a rollover from 2023. I think per usual, GM kind of switched up what came standard on their vehicles to stay competitive. So we do get the Chevy, Chevy Safety Assist package. And I love that we get standard blind spot monitors. That's a big plus. And I've said this before, I don't know what it is, but it just feels like the, the powertrain is just a little, it's lacking for me. I missed the two liter turbo setup with the eight speed. And the six speed is good with the 1.5, but just it's, just not the best performance from this, but it, it gets the job done and you're getting 26 miles per gallon city, 31 highway. So you certainly can't beat that for a turbocharged four cylinder. And like I said, it's not necessarily like unbearable, but it's not as quick as I would like it to be, but it's a standard 1.5 liter. And again, the two liter just has a quite a bit more oomph to it. But we'll give it a little pull here. And again, it gets up to speed fine. It's just the engine sometimes feels strained to me. But overall, driving dynamics for this, they're pretty great. I like that the hood is sloped. I can see pretty much everywhere. And of course, visibility is pretty good as it is, but having the blind spot monitors just makes it that much better. And you can see my fuel economy down there. I'm getting 40 miles per gallon and then it starts to get closer to that 30, 32 as the pavement mellows out. But honestly, you can get 32 plus if you baby it and do 70 on the interstate. If you get 65, something like that, you could probably do even better. But it is a brand new vehicle and it's still I mean, just how these come stock, the steering feels good. I think for most people in this market, especially if you're looking at a RAV4 or something along those lines, a Tucson that has the 2.5 liter naturally aspirated four, this 1.5 turbo, you may or may not like that better just depending on what you're looking for. Now for this price point at 32,000, pretty competitive with, I think I just reviewed a Tucson SEL convenience and that was a little bit higher than this. But of course with those, you do get the lane centering assistance, I believe. And I think you might even get adaptive cruise control. So that's something that you can get on these, but usually you have to go up another trim level. There might be a package now where you can just add it on, maybe a driver confidence too, or something like that. So it's kind of a gift and a curse with how Chevy or General Motors does their packages is you can just add what you want if you were to build one or if you were looking to find one. Whereas you get a Tucson, usually you have the SEL, you have the SEL convenience, and then you're pretty much going up to a limited after that. But I like how this one is built. I will say the seats to me could be wider. I feel like, I mean, I am a big person, but I feel like a big person in this seat here. I feel like this was made for like a Smurf or something. Just because my left shoulder's kind of leaning out a little bit with my back or with my uh, back all the way to the seat. Not too uncomfortable, but it's just, it feels weird. But again, I have a wider stature. The seat bottom itself though, just enough for me. And then the space within the seat from like the door panel to the center console space is pretty good. And then headroom, plenty of that, several inches. So again, this is one of the roomier options, just how it's made, I think. But it's just the, the seat backs, it just feels so skinny. But the support's pretty good. And of course you have the two-way power lumbar support for even more help there. And I like, again, that that comes standard on the LT trims now. 
So you can kind of just go with an LT with nothing added and then you're pretty much have what you need. And then if you want to go a couple safety packages or go up to the highest trim level, you can do that as well. But I think for the target market, it's definitely still a competitor, a good competitor at that, specifically for commuting. Where they took away the Malibu, this is basically the closest thing you can get to it, and you pretty much have the same powertrain, just more storage space. So take that for what it is. But this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2024 Chevrolet Equinox and the LT trim level.